हाय आई एम गुरुदेव सिंह राणा असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर कंप्यूटर आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी नैनीताल लर्नर इन दिस लेक्चर यू विल लर्न अबाउट जीएसपी सेशन ट्रैकिंग सो लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव विल बी विल अंडरस्टैंड ओवरव्यू ऑफ द जीएसपी सेशन ट्रैकिंग विल अंडरस्टैंड कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सेशन एंड विल ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड सेशन मैनेजमेंट इन जावा एंड वी विल ऑल्सो नो अबाउट सेशन ट्रैकिंग इन लास्ट लेक्चर यू लर्न अबाउट जी एस पी एक्सेप्शन वट आर एक्सेप्शन हाउ मेनी टाइप टाइप ऑफ एक्सेप्शन एंड हाउ टू हैंडल एक्सेप्शन इन जी एस पी पेजेस ओवर व्यू ऑफ सेशन ट्रैकिंग सो नाउ डेज इन वेब डेवलपमेंट एंड इन वेब टेक्नोलॉजी इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू सेव क्लाइंट प्रीवियस रिक्वेस्ट डेटा एट द टाइम ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग लेटर रिक्वेस्ट एस टी टी पी is a stateless protocol as we know that uh, http is just a stateless protocol which means that each time a client interactive with a web pages the client opens a separate connections to the web server and the server automatically does not keep any record at previous client request so as you know that http doesn't save any data during the next request so it is very difficult to get the previous data in the next for the re next request like that like uh, in uh, client server architecture client send a request and request object get created and server on the basis of uh, client request manipulate the data and response to the request and at that time object get destroyed request object is not sufficient to manage client previous request data as you saw in the figure here is one client and one is server in first request client sending a request server get the request work on the request and send response to the client here one request object get created and after response it get destroyed so when client send a next request http is a status protocol and it consider every request as a new request so in the next in the new request it haven't any data that uh, he got previously or previously now so this is a problem so to achieve uh, the above requirement we can use servlet context object servlet context object will share its data to all component and users unable to provide clear cut separation between multiple users as uh, we know serv server context object has a problem problem is that it only get created once and it will be share uh, between multiple pages like that when you deploy a web application to the server there is one uh, container and one container create one server servlet context object but servlet context object share all the data all the resources with the all the web pages multiple pages uh, users share same servlet context object now there is also problem in servlet context object so it has some limitations and due to this uh, due to this we need to do something else so to pro provide separation between multiple users we need to do some mechanism explicitly at the server side and this is called session tracking mechanism here is client as we know here uh, as we know client send a request to the server and server work on the request and send data back to the Uh, client and every request is treated as a new request now we need to understand concept of session so first we need to know what is session in simple word it is a time duration during which user communicate with the server like that i am sending a request to the user by uh, like say i am sending a login uh, login request to the user uh, user get login and it reflect a page to the web browser so this is one complete cycle during the communication user transfer data from client to server through multiple request during that particular session the data is called state of session let's say i am giving one example user login into the bank application with user id and password after successful login a session is get created four letter request like transfer money update profile and something 
some other transaction etc so application use previous data like user id to populate the required information let's say in bank application you have logged in first after that you are clicking on the update profile page so it will populate all the pre pre populated pre datas like that uh, it will uh, populate all the data that is required that is need to update like so when user logged out from the application it destroyed a session after login if your application ideal session get expired after 30 minute we can say 30 minute is ideal time of session now session management in java it is used to identify to recognize the particular user so first you need to uh, understand what is session management so session management it is used to identify or recognize the particular user session management is a way to persist the data of various requests made during a separation specification time called session as we know server treats every request as new request so server request as per request parameters most of the time we need session data or request parameter i have an example to fetch user information in bank application we need user id for this there are two ways i am explaining the first way what is happening first way and what is happening next way first way we provide user id for every request this is not a good practice let's say there is a client it is sending a request with user credentials and getting response from the uh, server in red next request it is sending it is asking for new request without any session so what happen it need to pass some data as well that is called a parameter parameter values in this case when user click on update profile link user need to pass user information like user id it is not a good practice and it downgrade the system performance so we can say without session we need to pass require parameter values every time manually now there is a second example where we maintain the session so in this case when user click the profile page system take required input from session like uh, user id or something else that is required for update profile link it upgrade the system performance as well so we can say with session we do not need to pass required parameter values every time manually now we comes to the session tracking so what is session tracking in generally web application contain multiple forms multiple pages or multiple resources most of the time there is a requirement we need to share data between multiple forms as we know in form based application we use http protocols which is stateless you know stateless what is stateless it doesn't save any previous data request so session tracking is a way to maintain state or data of an user for example we have a one form which contain the basic information of the user and now user is requesting for next form so what happen the browser will leave the first form and open the second form we can say the user leave the first form and enter into the second form and it will forget all the previous form data so here is one example of session tracking here is one application where is first form is login form user enter mobile number and password and click on the login login so what happen it will send credential to the server server authenticate the user and responds back to that credentials and display a landing page let's say this is a landing page and uh, all the data for the landing page is get by the server so now i just want to click on basic detail i just want to open basic detail form so what i need to do i will click on basic detail page so i click on basic detail page and all the data gets from server and display on the pages but how this happen so we know about if there is no session so what happen so to overcome the limitation we need session tracking why we need session tracking because 
if we need data for the latter uh, calculation so we need some data from the previous request so we need session tracking there are some techniques we use to track sessions we call this as state management technique so state management techniques are of two types one is client side like uh, hidden variables cookies query strings these are client side and another another one is server side like session and cache so we need to understand about what is client side in client side data is stored on the client browser like uh, cookies data we stored as a file in uh, client system and like uh, um, uh, hidden variables hidden val variable also we store all the value in hidden variable in the client browser and as you know query string query string is just a url re url rewriting where we pass value in the urls so as you know first we comes about talks about hidden variables so you know hidden variables comes with html so it is just like a hidden uh, input type and it store value in encrypted format and cookies cookies as you know uh, these are used to persist the data uh, for the clients only and it persists data in the client browser and query string query string is just url url rewriting where we pass ids in the urls and session object this is server side session object we create sessions and we retrieve sessions and maintain value during the session and a session object is single for one user now summary so in this uh, lecture i think you learn about session so i am sure that you understand the concept of session why session required and purpose of session management why session management is important and how we manage session in jsp and also you learn this lecture about state management techniques in the next lecture you will learn about session tracking techniques what are session tracking and the techniques and we will uh, discuss in details like uh, what is hidden variables what is uh, session and what is query string and uh, cookies and we also learn about session object how we create session object how we retrieve uh, session object and how session objects work and there also hands on understand of session tracking in less in next lecture thank you <music>